His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. Full orchestra yesterday, 150 voice choir, and at the funeral of President Bush yesterday, Michael W. Smith singing this. I don't know if you saw any of the funeral yesterday. I did see this part. It was so moving and how the people responded to this one song. And it's so touching to know President Bush's relationship with Michael W. Smith. He said, you know, we rarely ever talked about politics. It was always about our faith and God. He first played for President Bush back in 1989 at a Christmas special. Uh, and then uh, the relationship just blossomed from there, and he even became really good friends with his son, George W. Bush. Yeah, whenever you're with uh, Michael W. Smith and when Bush was in office, W, that is, he'd always make a little W mm. with his fingers, which is really cool. So it was touching to see how that relationship blossomed and grew and how they stayed close throughout the years. I think they even went on family vacations together, they I was did. Reading. It's so cool. Mm. I don't think I ever did. What's up with did that? Did what? Went on a vacation. Period. With the Bush family, you didn't get <laughs> oh. invited to Kenny Bunkport. Well, yeah, they wanted me to clean it after they left, so there was that. But that doesn't count. Very touching funeral. But when when uh, George W. was giving the eulogy of his dad, mm. and he was moved to tears at the very end. I mean, even though his dad had such a good long life, and he was ready to go home and be with Barbara. Uh, it was just moving to see his son do that. Oh, and, and I don't know if you heard what Barbara Bush did, the daughter, the granddaughter. She has a theory of why he passed away now. Mm. Because mom passed away, Barbara, back in April. And they've never spent a Christmas apart from each other ever since George came home from World War II oh. in 1942. Wow. So they're reunited for Christmas. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for the Bush family and the beautiful funeral yesterday.